Derek, is your heart settled down after that last five minutes? Yeah, I thought we were good in the game. I thought the game was scrappy the first half. There wasn't a lot of real fluency for either team. I think you see the importance. I think we're going to get a lot more games like that. You know, sometimes when there's a lot on the game, that's you know you see that in a lot of like big semi-finals and cup finals and stuff like that. You, that composure to play and that calmness to play. So I don't think we were perfect at all in the first half. Um, but we had a couple of good moments, and one in particular with Kyle, his quality was outstanding. So um, it's not the way how I wanted the game to finish because at two 0 we were good for two 0 We were calm with we work and managed the game really well, but. Um, you know, I'm, I'm annoyed that we've allowed the opportunity for them to throw the ball in my box and we lose a, a goal from a set play, which you're always going to be annoyed about um, and uh, disappointed about because we pride ourselves, we do the work, we know the threats, we, you know, we've got to be big enough and better than that in those sort of situations. So, um, disappointed because while it's 2-0, um, the other team will still keep going. Um, but when we give them a hand up to, to get a goal, then obviously there's work to be done at the end. And, We've all been there before when we've been punished for a bit of sloppiness, so um, delighted that we, we got over the line. I thought the second goal was outstanding from our point of view, the intent was great. And sometimes it's easy, to, you normally remember the end of a game and how it plays out, but you know, for large spells of that second half, Zach's not a safety mate until they, they score the goal with a few minutes to go. Um, and we had some good opportunities, good moments in the game, and the, the composure of the team's second half was far more what I was looking for. Um, the two goals for Kyle are special and, and that's what people remember for this game, thankfully more than losing uh, a late goal. How important could that lesson be in terms of the five games to come where the pressure's only going to ramp up with each match that yeah, comes? Yeah, I think that each game becomes bigger than the next one. Morton game next week becomes bigger than the day. And, you know, I, I always f feel that um, clean sheets win your titles. You know, when we've got boys at the top end of the pitch, particularly Laugh and, and Ollie who have been chipping in with goals of late, and you've got that honesty and that work ethic and that experience and um, from behind that, you know, it's important that we do the basics right and keep clean sheets. So, you know, it is a lesson learned, as you say, I hope it's a lesson learned and uh, we're up against a team next week who who have got size, they've got plenty plenty of big lads in there and they'll throw the ball into the box and they'll ask the question over. So we're gonna to have to make sure that we're um, get better at that. But you know, I don't want to be too pernickety and uh, Charlie's really about the whole performance because the intention was to win the game. We've done it. I'd like to have done it with a wee bit more style than how the game played out. But ultimately, at this stage, we've won a game and a tough game. Um, you know, to get six wins in the league and a draw in the last seven games is the type of form that we were searching for. And it's came at such a good time. And it's important we just stay calm with the work, um, attack the next fixture, and go and set about it and try and get another three points. Was it especially pleasing to get that goal early in the second half, given? how we started the game in general, that it was, it was a really strong start and gave us a platform for the re rest of the majority of the second half. Yeah, it's alright for me and the size and supporters and all the rest of it, expecting this and expecting that. The players are still the ones that have got to go over and deal with the, the, the game, deal with the occasion. So there is a lot of nerves out there, there is a lot of anxiety at times, but I want us to try and be less anxious with work, be more sure that we'll work, get more trust in the work. And sometimes the best way of doing that is just showing a bit more aggression with our press and all the rest of it. So we. We were aggressive, we put two or three passes in before the goal, a lovely ball for Rory and what a fantastic finish for the big fella. So, as you say, it sets us on as we're way second half and um, I thought we were good for 2-0, to be honest, for the majority of the game, the second half. So, um, so I'll try and think of that just now and enjoy the moment of winning the game, but realise with five games to go, there's still loads of work to do. We don't pretend to be... I think we're wholly better than anybody else. We know we're capable of winning games in this league if we do the basics right and we turn up. And for the majority of the game, we did that. And now, a Friday night game that we get to play before everyone else, and another opportunity just to continue that form that we've shown throughout March into the, the final month of the season. Yeah, totally. I think, uh, um, you know, the fixtures, you know, with three home games and three away games, we now play another tough Friday night game away from home um, obviously we managed to uh, win the last one at Somerset um, and there'll be a lot of spotlight on it a lot of talk on it this week but you know, I just want the players to, to deal with the game you know, Morton and another team who have been in decent form of late and as we've spoke about before that sometimes you know, it's teams not necessarily in and around you that you need to be much aware of as, as, as others so um, they've been particularly uh, strong at home 
Um, you know, Dougie's got them going, so we expect another tough match. But listen, we want to go there. Uh, we're top of the league, we're in good form. Got to remember that and just go and set about trying to win another game of football. And then hopefully, we sh but surely, slowly but surely, we hopefully we can get to where we want to. But it's another three points. I'm sure there's still loads of twists and turns to come. But um, you know, hopefully, we just deal with the game on Friday and looking forward to it.